morning, I hope you're all doing well. I'm just on my way to work right now. For those of you who are new to this channel and new to my content, which I've had many other channels over the years, I have a main channel that I'm still posting on. This is going to be my second channel where I'm going to be doing a day-to-day -day vlogs on things like no fap, dopamine fasting, other aspects of self-improvement. Uh, might vlog some aspects of my fitness journey, things like that. Just the bread and butter that holds everything together. That's the way I see NoFap, that's the way I see self-improvement. So today is day one of NoFap. I didn't think I'd be making this video again, these sort of videos again, because I would have thought that I'd figured it out by now and that I had broken free, which to an extent, like, to an extent I have. Like, I've been on, I've been aware of NoFap and regularly attempting it for the better part of the last six years now. And in the last 12 months, I've been very successful. And in 2023, I had two 100 day plus streaks, almost back to back. And I stayed away from porn for the vast majority of the year with a few minor slip ups. Initially, I went four, four and a half months from the beginning of the year, not watching porn, then I had a, a relapse uh, during one of my moves from my previous rental place to the place that I was just at. And then for the last seven months, well in seven months, I stayed away from porn once again. That was the longest I've stayed away from it. And yeah, throughout the time I had 200 plus day NoFap streaks. I haven't been perfect with you know, the no MO component of the PMO cycle throughout some of that time, particularly in the last few months. But for the most part, I've stayed away from porn for well, the better part of a year with a few minor exceptions. So I would say I'm a pretty credible source when it comes to NoFap. Uh, getting information and when it comes to sharing my journey it's not like I'm brand new to this but with that said in the last few weeks I have really really cracked I have really fallen especially a bit over a week ago I had another slip up to porn that was and that's after seven months of being clean I mean I hadn't been perfect with no fat but I'd at least stayed away from the no pee component of the PMO site but a week and a half ago I slipped up and I watched porn and that felt horrible it really did and what's interesting is uh, once again like my last re like in the last two years I've moved around a lot uh, about two years ago I moved out here to the countryside and yeah within those last two years in this new region that I live it's a beautiful region I'm very happy to live here but it's come with its own unique challenges. I've moved around three times. First moving out here, went to a rental place, then moved from that rental place to a new rental place called the Farm Stay, which I was just at. And as of the last few days, I've now moved permanently to a block that I um, got with my parents. So yeah, um, a lot of moving around. The moves have been really, really stressful, honestly. I'm not used to it. I grew up on the coast and for those of you who don't know, I'm you know, from Australia by the way, I grew up on the Gold Coast and I've moved since moved three hours west to the countryside. So I grew up on the coast, lived in the same house for the first 22 years of my life, well, 21 years, yeah, 21 years of my life. And then, yeah, the last two years I've been living out here and there's been quite a bit of moving around back and forth and I'm just sick of it all. I'm just, today, like right now, 1st of February, it's actually my birthday, which I conveniently forgot. I forgot my own birthday because it's just been, the last two days have been so hectic. Um, just cleaning out that rental place and of course, um, yeah, I'm back on with uni at the moment. I'm studying online and of course, continuing on with work like where I'm going now. So yeah, I've been really busy. I forgot my own birthday today and then just my mum just said happy birthday in the morning and I was like, oh, well, it's my birthday. All right. Uh -huh. Turning 23 today. And honestly, like, I've done really well in this past year, so I have a lot to be grateful for. It's not like I'm starting from scratch. But at the same time, you know, I've had a lot of slip ups in the last few weeks. Um, and especially that relapse to porn really showed me, like, damn, I've got some, a, lot, a lot of work to do. Because I'm going to be doing this series documenting my NoFap journey. Um, I don't know how long I'll do it, at least from. I'm going to 
commit to doing this at least until 100 days. Not 90 days, 100 days, get it to the triple digits. I'm going to at least documenting this until I get to 100 days, and then from there we'll see. I want to mix in other content occasionally, dopamine fasting and all of that, but for the most part, for now, this is going to be my NoFap channel. Now, this is really not just about NoFap, it really isn't. NoFap and dopamine fasting and all these aspects of self improvement, like, it's the bread and butter that basically just holds things together. It helps to ground you, to reconnect you with yourself. Because recently I've not been working out, I've not been on my game with no fat, I've not been eating healthy, and I've been not getting enough sleep, so I've not been living a healthy lifestyle. And that combined with the stress of moving, and of course combined with work and study, it's just been too much. Too much! And I'm feeling very ungrounded. I, like if you ask me how I feel, I don't know. I don't fucking know how I feel. Am I sad? Am I angry? Am I depressed? Am I happy? Well, I'm certainly not happy or joyous, but I don't know. I really don't know. I feel like I'm ungrounded and quite literally I feel like I'm just going insane. And that's one reason why I'm starting this because in the past from difficult parts of my life, doing these sort of daily vlogs has really helped. Like on my main channel with those of you who are new once again, I've got a main channel. Uh, my main channel, Utopian Warrior, I've got about 100, 150 something subscribers on there. And I started off that channel around this time last year, doing the same thing, documenting my NoFap journey as I am now. Then over the months as I did really well with NoFap, I basically moved on from the self-improvement NoFap genre and yeah, morphed it into uh, doing more things that I really enjoy, like going out and hiking, travel vlogs, um, camping. And things like things like that so I'm gonna keep doing that on my main channel I'm not going to be doing any self-improvement stuff there anymore even the dopamine fasting that I was doing recently I'm not gonna, I'm gonna move that over to this channel uh, I think it's gonna be good to do that because I think like that channel has its new a new niche established it's a new have a, I have a whole new direction that I'm established for it so I'm gonna get going with that keep going with that and unless also on that channel I'm gonna be show the bros is getting set up at the block uh, where I live now so yeah honestly I'm in a pretty rough space at the moment I feel terrible and I couldn't care less if it's my birthday it's just like I, I just don't care anymore it doesn't matter it means nothing so I'm in a, I mean, I'm, I'm just very pessimistic at the moment and just like even though the move is over the big thing that was on my mind is over the what I've been waiting for for a long time is over um, what it's really shown me is I've got a lot of, lot of issues that I need to really sort out in my life. And you know, at times I get lonely, yes, it is lonely sometimes, living the lifestyle that I do. And I think to myself, oh damn, you know, I'd love to just, like, I need, like, connection, you know, I need a relationship, stuff like that. But, no, no, I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for a relationship at all at the moment. The way I am, the state of mind I'm in right now, it's just not, nothing good will come of it. So I need to really hunker down, focus on what's important. First of all, I need to clean up my life. Uh, that means get going with no fab, get back into fitness, uh, stay on top of my diet, get good sleep. So I'm going to be documenting that aspect on this channel and also other aspects of my life. And of course, I'll still keep going with my other channel as well. There's not going to be any fancy cuts or edits on this one. This is going to be completely raw and authentic. And really, the style of like. I've had multiple channels over the years that I've deleted and I, I'm used to making this sort of content. But my main channel, I'm really happy the way it's been going and the direction it's in, so I'm going to leave it. I'm not, I'm not going to go back to doing this sort of content on there. And also one reason I'm starting up this channel is for that sense of anonymity. Now my main channel, when I first started it this time last year, I didn't tell anyone about it. It's, it was just completely private. and. Because I had a few people you know, online who I've been talk, communicating with and in contact with from the, the NoFap community and self-improvement for years. Of course, I told them about it, but people don't have telling people in real life, you know, friends, family. I didn't tell anyone because I wanted to just... It's it's a private thing. Like, you know, it's like NoFap and what the stuff, sort of stuff I talk on here, you know, sharing my innermost thoughts. Like, it's not something that I wanted my... Um, 
it's funny. It's like people, it's, it's like you would expect like oh you know you want people closest to you in real life to know about these sort of things. But it's something. It's like at the same time like if you're something you can relate. You know you don't. You really don't. It's funny. It seems more comfortable talking about this stuff in front of the camera than it does just in real life. And yeah, since then, since my main channel um, started to take off when it was really growing, you know, and of course I was doing stuff around the local area, vlogging and all that, people started to notice, and of course I wasn't hiding it as such anymore, so of course, you know, my parents, friends, uh, family, you know, they all found out about my main channel, and I'm fine with it now, like I, I, like it is, it is, I am, I am who I am, you know, that's it, and I think um, doing that was really, really good, it was a great idea to do that, because, like, ultimately, I, w I just want to become the best version of myself, regardless of who I'm with, friends, family, you guys online, I just want to be who I am, be authentic, be who I say I am, just be the best version of myself, no matter where, where I'm at, because, of course, we all have a tendency to put on these different masks, like, I'll act a certain way with my parents, and then friends differently, and then you go to, it's like, you go to work, school, it's like, it's all different, I, I want to cease that as much as I can, and just be who I am, be unapologetic about who I am, and just, that, that's it, that's really it. But at the same time, I recognize the power of anonymity, I mean, I'm part of 12 step, um, 12 step program, and I really do recognize the power of anonymity, so, I want this to remain a more anonymous channel, I'm not going to promote this on my main channel or anything, I'll share it with a few people I trust online, and uh, one or two close friends in real life, but apart from that, I'm not going to promote this channel actively, or anything like that. So yeah, it is what it is. But I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.